So we've been discussing the internet and I just want to go through what we have learned so far in class about how the internet works. So we saw or discussed that the internet is a global process, is a global system. And how does it work? It works with a network of networks. But what is a network? So a single network is a set of computers, two or more, connected to each other. So around the world, we would have one network, let's say in Trinidad, one network in China, one network in the US, one network in Spain, one in Australia. And of course, within a country, there are many networks. And all of these networks can be connected. So if all the networks are connected, and this happens over the world, the internet is a network of networks. The internet is many computers connected to each other. Now the World Wide Web, www, it's a part and the most popular part of the internet. So, looking at the World Wide Web, how do we get these web pages? How do we see that on our computer? First of all, those web pages have to be stored somewhere. And the web pages are stored on the web server. The web server stores a website. And what's a website? A website is a set of related web pages. So those web pages, many web pages can make up a website and all of those websites, all of those web pages that make up the website are stored in the web server. So the web pages are stored in the web server. And the way that you're able to go from one web page to another is using hyperlinks. Okay, so we have our web server and we have the web pages all stored in the web server. And remember, the web servers around the world. So we can have millions of web servers. So as we have millions of web pages. Now, there's you at home. What do you need in order to get that web page to display on your computer? Well, first of all, you need a computer. <laughs> Alright, so at home, you need a computing device, not necessarily a physical PC. You need a physical uh, tablet or smartphone, anything that, any computing device that can connect to the internet. Because you need a way to go from the computing device to the web server. You need something that can connect. So on that computer, that computing device, we have a computing device, we need to have a web browser on that computing device so that you can see the web page. You need to have an internet connection with the ISP, internet service provider, such as Flow, Be Mobile, etc. You also need to have that link, whether it's through your Wi-Fi, modem, router, whatever. Good. So we're at home with your computing device and you open your web browser. 
In your web browser, you might type in the web address. As you press enter, the information goes through the internet looking for that web server that stores that web page. Remember when you type in a web address, a web address is connected to a particular web page. So when you typed in that web address, they sent a signal over the internet looking for that web page and where the web page is stored on a web server. So when the web address, when the link finds the web page you want, it now has to bring it back from the web server and put it on your computer, display it on your web browser. And that's how you get a web page to display on your web browser.